Welcome along to Flamingo Land, welcome to our sea lion show. Now waiting patiently for us to start is Merlin. Merlin is one of our California sea lions. He's 17 years old, he's been here at Flamingo Land since 1997. He was a pup, he was just 18 months old. He's been here since 1997. 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 He's Within a few years, we could be overrun with baby sea lions because they breed quite successfully in zoos like this. But the main reason we've got a bachelor group here is because they're not endangered or threatened. If they were, we'd promote breeding here at the zoo. Now, Merlin's going to show you what he can do, and he'll start with a wave. If you guys stick it down in the air, wave at him, he should wave back. That's what we like to see. Give them all a big wave. Let's go. And he does respond when you guys clap. So if you see him clapping, join in. Give him a round of applause. That's the right answer. Attention from the training staff too. If I give him a pat on the back and say, well done, good boy, he responds like a dog to that attention, you see. I even get the odd kiss on the cheek in return. These animals are very similar to dogs, very closely related. And if you compare them to a dog, they've got a similar bone structure, they bite to communicate, they've got whiskers around the nose, teeth like a dog. They've even got a fur coat. They look smooth and slippery when wet, and they're actually furry. The fur sticks tight to the body when wet to make them more streamlined in the water, but when they dry off, you can see the fur more clearly. Around the neck area here, the males develop a slight mane as they grow older, hence the name sea lion. But in the case of this species, the mane's not very prominent. Other species of sea lion have a much more prominent mane, but that's where the similarity with lions ends. Now, when we're training Merlin, we teach him using positive reinforcement. We reward him when he does something well, a simple technique, but one that works very well. If you reward them with either attention or fish for doing anything right, you encourage that behaviour. And that's how we train everything you'll see him doing today. He's been trained to open his mouth when we touch him on the chin. This is so we can check his teeth, we can check the tongue and the back of the throat, and so can the vet when he pays a visit. If I want to check his teeth, I don't have to pull his jaws apart and just do this. Oh, why I say, ah, <laughs> it's not to me. Now, the front teeth are very important to them in the wild. Without their front teeth, they sadly can't survive in the wild, because the front teeth stop a fish from wriggling away once he's been caught. They feed on fish, squid, eel, and octopus, but fish makes up 90% of the diet. Without those sharp front teeth, they can't hang on to those fish in the wild. They can survive on occasions in the wild if they go blind, one of the rare mammals that can. We'll explain how they do that later on. Now he's learned to stand on his front flippers. This shows you how much upper body strength he's got. The front flippers provide the power when they swim and they act like walking limbs on dry land. He can hold all his weight, that's 110 kilos, on just his front flippers. Like that. Now they breathe through the mouth and nose just like us. They're mammals in every sense of the word. But they can hold their breath for up to 15 minutes. They've got a large lung capacity. They can suffer from infections in the lungs. In the current climate, this is fairly relevant, of course. We don't have to test them for COVID, but every so often we take a mucus sample from the sea lion, which we send to the lab and have it tested. We check for certain bugs or bacteria that can develop into lung infections. If they're present, we can treat them with the right medication. So we've taught him to do this. This is disgusting, I'll warn you in advance, but we've taught him to blow his nose on command. Normally, I have a sample dish in my hand when I do this. I forgot to bring one with me, so I'm just going to use my hand. When I touch him on the nose, he blows his nose. Like that. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Now, when they're relaxed, their nostrils actually close, which is very clever. That stops any water going up the nose when they're swimming about chasing fish. They actually open their nostrils each time they inhale or exhale. But they do that without thinking. Now, you see how he can stand on his front flippers. That's something a seal can't do. People get confused between sea lions and seals, but one way to tell them apart is to look at their front flippers. A seal's front flipper only grows to the size of my hand. It's tiny compared to a sea lion's front flipper. And that's because seals swim using the back flippers by moving them from side to side. Seals have claws on each front flipper, tiny little claws that they use for scratching. Sea lions don't have any claws here, but if Merlin's got an itch, he's got tiny claws on the back flippers. If you look at his ears, they stick out from the side of his head. That's how you can tell he's a sea lion. Seals don't have ear flaps. They do have ears, but a seal's ear is just a small hole on the side of the head. If you can see ear flaps that stick out, it's a sea lion you're looking at. And if the creature can walk on land like this, it's definitely a sea lion. Sea lions are much faster and much more agile on land than seals. They can run, they can jump, they can climb. Notice how Merlin walks about on all fours. The back flippers tuck underneath the body, the front flippers bend in the middle. Now, a seal has to move in a very different way. He's not a seal. He, we know that. He doesn't like being called a seal. In fact, he's never met a seal in his life. But he does do a good impression of one for you. Show us how a seal moves on land. Yeah, like this, they sort of move. <laughs> they, exactly right. they bounce along on their belly by moving their spine in sort of wave-like motion. But that's the only way a seal can get about on dry land. They're certainly not as fast as these animals. Good impression, that Merlin. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that's a few ways you can tell a sea lion from a seal. But there is one awkward creature you might come across called a fur seal. Fur seals are not seals. Fur seals are actually sea lions. But that's where it all gets very confusing. So we'll move on. We will get the hoops down. Here we've got five hoops. And if I throw these hoops in the pool, quick as a flash, he'll dive in after them and bring them back to me. We taught him to do this when he was just a pup. 
And it's really simple. You just throw the hoops in the water, then you win it. You might have to wait for several hours the first time you do it, but when they bring a hoop back for the first time, you reward them with a pat on the back, a piece of fish. You say, well done, good boy. Hey, Presto, you've trained them to retrieve. It's that easy. Well done, Merlin. <laughs> a reward most of the time, but it doesn't always work in summer. In summer, it's the breeding season for these animals. That's when the males stay on the beach in the wild to mate, and they often stay there for several weeks at a time, surviving on the layer of fat or blubber that they build up over winter. So sometimes when he brings the hoops back at this time of the year, I throw him a fish, he spits it out. But he always wants attention. So that's the ultimate reward, just giving them that pat on the back, saying, well done, good boy, like you would train your dog at home. That can work as well, if not better than a piece of fish as a reward. Now, we're going to show you how good he is at catching hoops. When he catches a fish, it goes in his mouth. When he catches the hoops, they've got to go over the head. But the same skills are needed to make that catch. He can catch very well because he's got binocular eyesight. He's got two eyes facing forward, like us. So he can judge distance and speed. Well, I mean, for some reason, he always has to look over his shoulder to check he's got the hoop. We don't understand why, because they've just got over his head. But he always likes to have a little glance just to reassure himself. He's very good at stretching out that long neck to make the catch. And if he gets this, give him a clap. Oh, well done. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So I was given individual attention. And I'm going to give some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. And I'm going to get some more attention this week. Thank <laughs> you. 